Hi, I'm Nancy Erickson, the book professor. And one of the things I really love doing is teaching writers about how to title their nonfiction book. Now, oftentimes when you're writing your book, you have an idea in mind for a title, which is fine, it's a working title, but did you know that there's a formula for titling your book? And it's kind of like naming your baby. Your nonfiction book will have a title and a subtitle. And that's kind of like a first name and a last name. The first name or the title can be something kind of creative and ear catching and interesting. Something that really, you know, creates a question in the reader. Like, what's that about? But the subtitle, that's like the last name. That's what grounds your book. Like a last name grounds a child and ties them to their family. So I'm going to turn around and I'm going to show you part of my wall where I have a lot of book covers that we've done and we're going to talk about some titles. So hang on here a second and let's look at these title and subtitle. This book we're about to release um, in April 21st is called A Well-Launched Life. That's the title. It creates a question. You're kind of like, what is that about? And the answer is how young people can live an intentional and fulfilling life. And that's by Bruce Sheridan. This book is called Afterlife. And you might think, oh, that's a, some religious thing. Well, it's not. What is it about? Waking Up from My American Dream. And that's by author Carlo Pietro Sanfilippo. And this one, I'm gonna take this off the wall so I can show you, is a book that we're gonna be releasing in May. It's called Sisters in the Storm. Create a first name, huh? Well, what's it really about? What grounds it is the subtitle for moms of mentally ill adult children. So when you're thinking about titling your book, when you first have a working title, go with that while you're writing your book. But when you're finished, really think, process, maybe pull out a phrase from your book and use that as a title to create interest. And then your subtitle can tell your audience exactly what to expect. 